so I've got some more exciting books to share with you today. Uh, these ones are all sort of art of the film books. These are three of my particular favourites. I'm going to start with The Case of Beasts. And this is behind the scenes of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. This one particularly is all about the graphic design and all the material stuff. This was designed by Mina Lima. So most of the stuff inside, plus the book itself, uh, was designed by them. They did all the graphic design for Harry Potter and for Fantastic Beasts. So this opens up a bit like a suitcase. Inside it's got this lining, which or end papers, which is to look like the lining of Newt's suitcase. Every page is an absolute gem. These are some of the, the posters and bits of newspaper. It's a very graphic design heavy film, which is one of the things I loved about it. The interesting thing about this as well is that it's got little bits which are clearly cut from the film and they must have been done quite last minute. Mildred, Jacob's fiance, who looks sort of scary like Queenie, he doesn't have a, a, a wife or a fiance in, in, in the film. So that was that was interesting. It's got all these little kind of interactive elements. There's a bit here about Tina, her Makusa card, Shaw, Senator Shaw. This is a wee folder. I'm gonna try and take it out for you. This is a poster that you see in the major investigations department. And it looks like that. But the nice thing is, on the other side, it's also, it's, it's not just white, it's this kind of textured paper as well. And it's just those little details like that that just make these films so great. I love that they've continued that level of attention to detail into this book. It's got the Witches Live Among Us little pamphlet there. Wanted posters in here for Newt and Tina. It's got a bit of the concept art there as well. And then right at the end, there is a wand permit. And you can actually buy these from the Mina Lima shop. Quite expensive. So this is a slightly smaller version, but it's nice that they've included some of these elements in the books. The book in itself is quite expensive. This one is 30 pounds, but if you bought all the individual elements, it would be much more expensive than this book. Should we take a turn to the darker side? Crimson Peak, The Art of Darkness. This is another film that I just loved for its attention to detail. I've watched it so many times and I still keep noticing new little symbols and things that are in say, say the wallpaper the end papers like that and then you've got little sections on each of the characters and these semi-transparent sheets it's a film that has absolutely stunning costume design it has some of the sketches behind the scenes it's all those little details that just are so so clever great photography and attention to color each of the characters also has one of these little flappy things, um, a bit of information, a bit of background biography. And here we have the letter that Thomas, this fella, writes to Edith, the heroine. It's all rather, rather beautiful as well. Some of the drawings in there as well. Little inside guides. So from the art of darkness to the art of light and beauty and all things beautiful and pure. <sighs> Moana! If you haven't seen Moana yet, you need to because it is the greatest Disney film ever made. I never thought I'd say that. It's just a perfect film. I have no faults with it. Likewise, I have no faults with these end papers. There's some behind the scenes stuff about how they did the research and visited the Pacific Islands. So they went to places like Samoa and Tonga. Oh, the colors, they're just so rich. We've got some of the concept art for the characters and then some of the costume design as well, the different villages. Pua, the tiny pig. I find this kind of thing so inspiring. It just makes me happy to look through and also remember how wonderful the film was and just makes me want to watch it again. If you haven't seen Moana, you are in for a treat. If you have seen Moana, you're in for a treat watching it again. Those were three books on three very different films. Do let me know if you enjoyed this and if you would like to see more like this. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!